right, guys. This is El Miguel with Trampus the bus. I got an update on uh, on the valve adjustment. Man, I tell you what, this is a big one. I'll let you guys listen to this. All right. I want you to notice that in this video, within the sound of that motor running, you cannot hear a thump, 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 thump. All right, I'm gonna back off so you can hear me talk better. Oh yeah, let me show my valve cover. Did those, painted them up, got them looking good. Filled it back up with T6 Rosella, synthetic. He is running like a sewing machine. All right, everybody. I think you, in the other videos, you remember a, uh, I had a tight valve on the back uh, I think it's um, number seven. I think it was seven exhaust. Yeah, I think it was seven exhaust was uh, was too tight. I pointed it out in the video. The whole time I've had the bus, I've always noticed that it had this weird sound that kind of kind of came back through the intake manifold, and it sounded like a thump almost like a rod knocking but not and i've asked other mechanics about it and they said ah oh, you know it's not a rod knocking it'd be making a different sound and people that were more experienced than i like i told you i'm not no uh, diesel mechanic i can spin a few wrenches and look at a book and do what the book says but uh let me tell you we haven't done a road test yet but it is absolutely for sure that valve was not seating. And thank God that they have valve rotators in uh, in internationals because if not, it would have probably burned it. So, as soon as I cranked this up, I noticed that all I heard was a rattling sound from a normal diesel and no thump, thump, thump in the intake manifold. And that's more pronounced with uh, this k and air filter that's on here. You really heard it more because it lets the it lets the the sound get out of the intake manifold more more than it normally does. So it has a Moroso, uh, I'm sorry, an Elderbrock uh, chrome air cleaner and a big k and air filter with a cover on it. You can't see the filter behind that cover. It kind of keeps the moisture out of it. I also went ahead and changed the, fil the uh, fuel filters. They hadn't been changed in about five or six years. I hate to admit it, but they have Not having very many miles on them, but they, they certainly hadn't been changed, just setting. And in the process, I went ahead and sealed up the oil pan good and put some silicone around that and put new oil filters on it, changed the oil, cleaned it all out, all that other stuff in the video. But I'm telling you right now that that is an absolute just amazing and like I say I haven't drove it yet we're gonna check it out tomorrow the, run, the yard is so wet it's been raining for three or four days and uh, I didn't want to drive through the yard one one time about a year ago we had a whole lot of rain and I went through the yard and made a huge mess so I decided not to do that but anyway I just fired it up I wanted to give you guys that final video for this uh, valve adjustment deal. I'm going to see if I can tie this in to another vi video to see if I can hear it in a, in a different video running. But uh, even my wife could notice it right off the bat. As soon as I said something about it, she's like, yep, I can hear the difference in it. It's amazing. I'm so glad. We're blessed to be able to get that done because I'm telling you that that would have been catastrophic to a good motor. So anyway, El Miguel with Trampas, we're out.